Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick comparison here between the OnePlus 5 and the Galaxy S8. So a lot of people wanted to see a comparison here between these two uh, very popular Android phones. And we're going to start them up. Can the OnePlus 5 uh, keep up with the S8? That uh, is a great question of the year. Uh, but then again, you know, it could be that the S8 might struggle against the OnePlus 5 because it's not the fastest phone on the planet, let's just be honest. Uh, but in terms of the engineering, it is marvellous. Uh, in terms of the display, etc., uh, you can see the S8 a little bit faster to boot up here. This is an Exynos uh, model uh, versus an 8 gig RAM model of the OnePlus 5. So, uh, 500 euro phone versus about 650, depending on where you go. I think the S8 actually starts to come down in price though, so you know, do shop around. Uh, nevertheless, we're going to have a look at the software here first. So, uh, both of them actually do share some things in common in terms of the UI. Uh, you are getting the swipe up here now on both of them. Well, that's where the commonalities kind of end, <laughs> pretty much. Everything else is uh, pretty different, really, with the OnePlus 5 being very close to stock Android here uh, compared to the Samsung. Uh, the Samsung does actually make use of the Edge features of the phone as well much more so you can actually use the edge panel uh, to you know keep in touch with people as well as access different functions like screenshot uh, you can also use the Bigsby uh, integration which I think has been rolled out across the world now it's like a personal assistant that you don't get uh, with your typical Android device so those are all value adds I think for the S8 uh, OnePlus obviously comes back with more RAM, you're getting uh, 8 gigs of RAM which is literally twice as much as the S8. Uh, you're also getting very nice uh, customizable uh, Android here, you can see I've got circular kind of icons. Uh, you're also getting a uh, fingerprint scanner obviously, uh, all the good stuff, but you don't get the iris scanner that you do get with the S8 which is pretty nice, or the full waterproofing and dust protection. Uh, so, you know, it's definitely missing some things, I think, compared to, you know, what uh, you can get for the same kind of money here. Uh, but nevertheless, how does the speed compare? We're going to have a look. So let's just make sure everything's closed down. We have fully updated both of them as well uh, to the latest software. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. So I think that was the three, three T, the five. Then let's just keep up. We're on the five now. One plus five. Again, just that little bit. Uh, the camera. So quite similar that time. Uh, we done this one. I think we have. Yes. Uh, let's uh, go to some third party ones. Uh, where is good old Facebook? We don't have that here. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh, we have some interesting ones. Uh, so again, the five, a little bit snappier there. Uh, River Island. Oh, that was quite weird, that one. Couldn't really see. Uh, Pinterest. Same. There's no difference with that one. Uh, what else do we have? And we have Argos. That was slightly faster on the right, I think, but again, you know, it's not a massive difference. I think mean, you can see, you know, whichever one you do choose here, uh, you're going to be getting a fantastic overall experience in terms of the speed. Uh, we do have some games installed. So let's just try this one. Oh, it looks like the OnePlus 5 is going ahead here when it comes to the game. Who will unfurl the ball of grass faster? That is the golden question. I think it's going to be the 5 here. I think they both support the DDR. Yeah, I think the 5 actually worked faster there. It worked faster to load the game, which is good. And the S8 was left standing. Let's just try another one. Uh, SimCity. So as I was going to say, I think the both support the fastest RAM available, DDR4X or something. So 
you're getting good uh, underlying hardware here, whichever one you go for. And I'd say that even though the screen is a little bit more, uh, you know, you get the 2K ability on the S8, it doesn't really seem that different. You know, I think the screen on the uh, OnePlus 5 looks good enough overall. You know, it doesn't look uh, inferior or anything because it's less resolution. It might actually help as well with the battery. Uh, those two games, I couldn't actually see too much of a difference here. Let's try GTA. I think the SA is doing quite well actually, much better than I thought it would. I thought it would be dominated, but clearly not. Even loading GTA here much faster. Now, was it the SA which struggled to load GTA when I first got it? They must have done something to improve that. Uh, so do we have anything else? I think we have Solitaire, classic Solitaire. Wow, no difference. Uh, so you can see here, you know, it's a bit back and forth really. Uh, I think the OnePlus 5 did quite well on most of them, but I think your average user isn't going to really notice too much difference here. Uh, we're going to see a speed test and then round the video off quite nicely. Uh, so let's just see the S8's performance. Should move it a little bit so it's not blocking anything. So you can see class leading score here from the S8 actually performing well tonight. And what can one plus five do? Oh, that was close, but no cigar. The S8 still kept the crown here, only just. The ping was nice though, and the upload is even nicer. Uh, so, you know, depending on what you want there, personally, if someone would like to upload like gigabytes of data a week, I'd probably go for the upload, but very nice performance from both of them, nevertheless. Uh, we can just have a look at the web page as well. Some people do like to see that. So let's just go to Daily Mail. I don't know why I go to Daily Mail. Let's go to BBC today. Go. So that looked snappier on the left. And you can see it uh, seems to be quite the same here for mobile optimized website. Maybe the S8 there a little bit. GSM Arena. You see, this is weird why sometimes I've noticed it doesn't show any results when you're typing it in. It seems to be a recent Google change. Uh, we can see very similar here in terms of the load of the speed of the browser, uh, which, you know, Props to OnePlus for optimizing Chrome to that extent. Uh, we can just as well check the RAM management. I don't think there's going to be too much difference here, except for the animation. And you can see for the basic ones, I might as well not even test those because there's not going to be a huge difference. Let's just try the games again. Uh, so let's go back and this one. So you can see, I think uh, the, what happened there? I think the OnePlus 5 went into a little bit snappier and this one was still loading. So let's go to another one. Glow Hockey, same. Another one. The same. And another one. Mm. So this is just resuming the game. Uh, so that's not a reload. So as a all, oh, the SA resumed a bit faster. So as you can see here, you know, the performance is fantastic on both of them, but there's not a clear kind of differentiator in terms of the performance. So 
if I was given the choice of which one to choose based upon, you know, through the same kind of price level, the S8 still blows the one plus five out of the water, you know, it's got optical image stabilization, it's got everything, you know, in terms of the high-end phones where we're missing quite a lot this year. But if I was going to recommend uh, the one plus five, I'd say probably get the uh, 60 gram model obviously it's more affordable and you're getting a fantastic overall performance uh, so uh, yeah just a quick comparison here between these phones I will do some other comparisons with the OnePlus 5 you know checking out some other phones we've got uh, for the same kind of price you can get the P10 you can get the LG G6 uh, there's lots of choice at that particular price level so yeah hope you enjoyed the video find it helpful and I'll see you in the next one